Alright yo, what's up guys, it's Great Instincts here, bringing you Black Ops 2 commentary. As you guys have just seen, I've been sponsored by VTS Productions, as the intro shows. And today I have a, a gameplay of 32-4 and 4 on League Play, and I got 3 AGRs and a bunch of other kill streaks and kills. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. What I'm talking about today is how to get win streaks and how to improve the duration of your win streak, and how to have more fun while you're winning. So tip number one, play with friends and communicate. This is probably the most important tip I could probably give you when you're trying to go for win streaks. I mean, playing with friends isn't as important as communicating. Communicating, calling out people where they're at. If you injured someone, it's so easy to have someone else kill them if they're on the objective. If you, if they're injured and, knows, and somebody else knows exactly where they're at, instead of playing with a bunch of randoms in your lobby and you're trying to go for a win streak by yourself and you can't tell anybody what you're doing and you're just killing them all and you're getting mad because your team doesn't know where everybody is and they're, they're sucking and you're carrying the team I know how it feels but if you play with friends you'll be avoiding this slightly even if your friends suck you can still tell them where they're at and you can still communicate about all that stuff so tip number two play the objective don't camp don't just go for streaks don't just go for kills you know play the objective like right now the score is 53 to 2 I mean I'm clearly playing the objective and right there do not see like if there's like four of them you gotta play smart you gotta let your teammates rush in play bait and then come around Flank them. Flanking is an awesome technique for trying to play objective. All you got to do is basically you're using your teammates as bait. If you have a teammate you don't like particularly, let him run into the hard point. And it's not going to help and it's not going to hurt anything if he's dying and you're picking up all the kills from behind and you're going to get streaks off of it and he's just going to, you know, just be there because you're not going to have to play with him again if he's a random. And also, if you're playing like domination or something, like in the beginning of the match, go cap, go cap the first flag. Like, don't just run past it. I mean, it's. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but really, if you think about it, if you if the other team captures it like a couple seconds before you capture the first flag, they can start actually take the lead and actually win off of just capping that first flag. So playing the objective is really important when you're going for win streaks, and it seems like an obvious, but some people still think that the kills are the only thing that contributes to win and going on win streaks, and they're unfortunately wrong because kill streaks are a big competitor and they're very important in going on win streaks. But not as important as playing the objective and constantly being playing the objective and getting defends and captures and so on. So number three, about those streaks that you're running, run support streaks such as like UAV, counter UAV. I know I'm not running this game, but I have been recently and I went on like a six win streak today. And I'm in platinum. I'm like rank five right now. I'm trying to get up to master. I haven't been up to master yet ever just because I haven't really been able to put in the time. I was really busy. And just not, I really sometimes I just get lazy and I just don't feel like getting up to master. See, I went on a five win streak today, and I mean, it's only because of that. I was playing my support streaks, UAV, counter UAV, and they help a lot because the people on the other team, they can't see where you are, and you can see exactly where they are, and it just it helps tremendously when you run support streaks. Plus, your teammates can help you more, and you won't feel like you're carrying as much if your teammates have some help from your, from your support streaks. And when you're when you're running into the hard point and you got a UAV if there's a kid camping in the corner like you're gonna know exactly where he is if you're running them support streaks but it, how's it gonna help you if you're running a hellstorm missile and you're gonna go ex explode it and go kill some kid off the spawn okay well I see you're getting a kill but you're not really playing the objective and you're not really getting much done towards your goal so tip number four rush don't don't just sit back and camp for your streaks even if you're getting close on your streaks like this is like really important right here like like right now, I'm sitting in the hard point. I mean, I'm I'm playing the objective. Like if you're camping in the objective, it's not a horrible thing. But I'm just saying, if you rush, you could get way more streaks because you're begin you're gonna you can pick them up a lot faster. And plus, if you're camping, there's actually like I think connection in this game makes it so if you camp, like you have a less chance of killing someone. Like let me see if I can describe this. Like if I'm sitting in the corner and some kid goes over to me and jump shots me, he's probably going to get the kill just because he's the one moving and he's going to see me first. He's going to have better reaction time than I will, and he won't. He will. He won't be able. He'll be able to kill me before, way before I can kill him. And so if I was rushing, I would get. I would pick up that kill and he wouldn't. And right now I'm going 24 and one. I'm pretty impressed with my gameplay so far. And hopefully this this video will go up on VTS Productions. But let's go back on the subject. So keep rushing, and you'll get all these streaks like I'm getting, and you'll be winning the 20 win streaks. And tip number five, have fun. That's the most important part of playing Call of Duty. Even though it seems it seems a bit obvious, if you're mad when you're playing Call of Duty, if you're angry, if you're irritated, you're running around, you're like cussing up a storm because you're not getting any kills, 
you're not gonna you're not gonna have fun when you're playing Call of Duty. Just and you're not gonna get any kill streaks. You're not gonna get any kills. You're not gonna get any streaks. And most importantly, you're not gonna get any wins or win streaks. And that's how people get stuck in iron. Like the the people that with have anger issues. And if you guys know what I'm saying, like those squeakers that are running around cussing at you, saying they'll kill you and do stuff to your mom and stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about. People that are full of themselves and just running around talking crap to everyone. When really it's the people that are quiet and just try hard. I mean, not really try hard, but just have fun that are the ones getting all the streaks like I am this game. And let's go. I'm going to run through my class setup real quick. I was running an M8A1 with Suppressor. And I actually just set up that just set up this gun and this gun is it's pretty good it's not that bad I mean some people think suppressor ruins a gun but I don't know like it keeps you off the radar which is also really important so you want to I mean if you want to you can run ghost in pub matches when you're going for streaks that's sometimes what I do when I go for when I go for win streaks is I run ghost and I run suppressor but anyway that's 32 and 4 my gameplay we're about to win this game and hopefully, once again, this video hopefully goes up on VTS Productions. This has been Great Instincts, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. I'm signing off.